with the merge tool, the 12018, the latest version, has Beyond Compare been added as one of the options when solving a manual merge. You have to buy the product or you can use a 30-day free trial in here, but the merge functionality is a pro feature and you need to buy the Beyond Compare. It's uh, 50 bucks. But let's look at what has been done inside the merge tool in here. So uh, there's a few uh, things that are different in here. First of all, there's an external merge name and that's where you have to put in the name that is actually the one you're using in here. It actually defaults to the right value, so if I go insert a new one and this one would be test, it automatically defaults to that one, so you don't really have to remember it. So the other option that has been added is a shell command type. It can now use Windows scripting host and that means if you have the service tier and rotor client on the same computer, everything actually works the same way because the pass to get to files is the same for all of them. Of course you need to have permissions also, but run the service tier as the same user as you're using, then you don't have a problem. Then you can connect to a remote database and actually use the rotor client for everything in the merge tool. But I want to show the Beyond Compare feature in here. So uh, I've uh, went in here, I changed my setup. So I actually just want to uh, use this version in here. So I'll go here and uh, start my merge. Now I already set everything up here, so I'll just click OK. And as it hits the first object, this one is where I have to combine stuff. And let's see, that's probably easier in another tool in here. So I hit cancel, I'll use external merge. It now fires up Beyond Compare with the complete objects in here. And uh, I can then go and say, okay, find the next conflict. And that's the one down here. I actually just want to take the old code because this one is 3.7. Next conflict, I had none. So, okay, I can go close this one, save the output, and keep on going. This one again, yeah. I can solve that better maybe in an external merge in here. So uh, I'll go find the next one. And yeah, I want the new code for sure. But I want to go up here and say this line of code. I want to copy that. And then I want to paste it down here. So that's the new code. And then I can say, okay, next conflict. This one is something that has been changed again. So let's put the new code in there to begin with. And then I'll copy this one. Go to the next one. It's the same. So I'm actually going to do this one. This one is actually one of the very nice things about Beyond Compare. It found out that I changed the same pattern so it actually did that here, the third time for me automatically. So all I have to do is close it again. And it now is go on and uh, do the merge. And of course these ones, some of them are easier to do inside the merge tool. And I'll just click, yep, yeah, that's okay. Keep on going. Um, or I can go use uh, Beyond Compare for the task that I actually want, uh, that I have task was in here. So this one is, yeah, I added a parameter in here. And I'll go add those ones in the strings and so on. But but that's basically how uh, the new feature works. It launches a normal manual merge, and if you decide it's easier to do in a different tool, it launches a complete object in Beyond Compare, and you can actually do the merge from in there.